Learn more about a community by staying at a bed and breakfast. In Historic Guthrie, this is the place. The Stone Lion Inn at 10th and West Warner. It's like having your own concierge. Um, that's what a, a hostess does in a bed and breakfast. She makes her guests very comfortable and tells them the best places to eat and where to enjoy something or where to get a cup of coffee. Becky Luker owns the Stone Lion Inn. This room is um, the front room and it was sort of a library. Um, if you notice, all of the wood in this room is um, oak. It's a golden oak. She was a high school teacher from New Mexico. No. Some of the furnishings came with me from Santa Fe, actually. Becky moved to Oklahoma in the mid-1980s to start a new life with her two sons. She found this historic mansion built in 1907 and saw its potential as the first bed and breakfast in Oklahoma. The potential was that it had a lot of bedrooms. The house was built by the gentleman who was here building the Carnegie Library. So structurally, it's in very, very fine shape. It, it was in wonderful shape. I just kind of fell in love with it. And it just had so much charm to it. And I thought I could do something with this house. She restored the 8,000 square foot home, adding bathrooms, a total now of eight. Each of the six bedroom suites has its own Victorian charm, from traditional elegance to a more playful painted theme. Some of the furnishings in the Stone Lion Inn are older than the house itself. The church here in Guthrie had this, this piano, and it just didn't serve their purpose, so they sold it to me, and they gave me a very good deal on it. This square grand piano dates back to 1863. The piano has changed hands several times, all recorded inside its panel. Everybody puts their name on who have owned it before and how much it was sold for. Where's your name? I don't think I've ever added it. <laughs> well, you need to add it to I the do. Uh, panel. I just, uh, I don't think I've ever put it on there. Along with antiques, there are curious things in place. When you tell them, oh, by the way, the table you've been making drinks on, that's an embalming table. <laughs> they get a big kick out of that. The embalming table never moved out from the 1920s. For a few years, the house was a funeral home. The Stone Lion Inn has plenty of stories to tell. I don't provide any televisions. It's, you know, they're coming here to enjoy the character of the house. And uh, most of them find it intriguing. And to look around at all the little things and stuff that we've, you know, uh, decorated with. Opened in 1986, the Stone Lion Inn is one of the most successful and long-standing bed and breakfasts in Oklahoma. What makes it so popular is what happens here in the dining area. A murder mystery is solved over a seven course dinner over about four hours. People are intrigued by murder mysteries and what happened and why did they get killed and what are, what's the back, the back story. The back story is really big. And so we provide the back story before they get here and then, then they find out who's gonna get killed. By the way, it's one of them. We kill one of their guests. We call them back in the kitchen just before showtime, and we'll say, by the way, you're going to die. And we tell them what, what signal we'll give them and then what they're supposed to do, and they always do it. The Stone Lion Inn has been nationally recognized as best date night activity. Becky writes all of the murder mysteries, which draws visitors from just about everywhere. Every guest arrives with a role to play. And I learned right away that nobody wanted to play a nice person. Everybody wants to be bad and have a bad past, a jaded past. All the characters have to be really interesting and, and kind of evil. The house adds to the murder mystery too. You know, it's, it has that, it's, it is dark and kind of spooky and uh, it adds to that whole uh, ambiance that they're looking for when they come here to do a murder mystery. I want them to come in and see what it was like to, to live back a hundred years ago and enjoy that and, and also be entertained and take away, I want them to leave laughing and having a good time and think, oh, that was a riot, that was so much fun.